welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Once more here in the um, Namazo Festival Camp, where we have another rank with Yoshin waiting for Gyodo. Desiree, Desiree, there is something I wish to discuss. Wait here while I gather the others. Our joint efforts have borne fruit, and more and more Namazu come from Yangshed to join us every day. We are surely nearing 777 participants by now. Yes, yes, though I admit I lost track after 9. I only have so many fins and whiskers to count with, you know. Alas, my sleep remains troubled, restless. Every night I dream of nothing but the big one. My, my. Is the big one so unsatisfied with our offerings? I wish I knew. Perhaps an offering in and of itself does not a festival make? If you have a wrong idea, then... Then... We will die in seven years. Seven years! Please, at least feign distress over our plight. Yershin's absurd night terrors notwithstanding, he is right in that an offering does not constitute a festival. The addition of a ceremony with more cultural aspects would not go amiss. Two primitive festivals were not particularly artistic endeavors, but from their base origins that they evolve, prayer transformed to divination and ritual to spectacle. Must the shaman become ever more significant to society, and come to wield power similar to that of a chieftain or king. And these shamans, in turn, imbued festivals with yet more ostentation, the better to catch the public eye, you see. Ceremonial accoutrements became even more elaborate, the scale of the event expanding exponentially. This series of escalations culminated in the development of extravagant festival processions. Summarize your suggestion, briefly. Three sentences or less. <sighs> per Chrysanthemum and the Dango, some festivals in Hingashi are known for their parades. These parades involve carrying objects called Mikoshi. We should attempt to imitate them. See, you can do it if you try. If you expand the effort, and now do that from the, from the start next time. So, so, Desiree, you recall how I'm most portable, yes? I must away to Kogane to see a Mikoshi in its construction first hand. Go ahead and stuff me in your bag again, if you please. Hingashi. Squirming sack. Smells of fish. I <laughs> <sighs> that bag is most full of sharp objects and quite cluttered. I can hardly believe I escaped that rubbish packed burgatory life. Hey. I did not intend to say that out loud. Um, no, no. What I meant was, uh, thank you. Yes, yes, of course. Alright. So, this is Kugane. The villa with colors, the brilliant hues. My artistic soul is all astir. Oh, you Namazu bastard. Mighty lovely to see you here. Now prepare for a beating.
Thought you'd run off me with money, did you? Well, you won't be running nowhere when I'm through with you. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you and what, why are you yelling? Don't go playing silly bugger with me. You owe me for a ship. If I ain't seeing no coin from you, I'll take it out of your height. I believe you have a f wrong number, so my friends. Eh? This is Goshin, not that swindler Gyodo? Well, blow me down. My mistake, little fish fella. I'm just relieved that this was all resolved without beating. I would much prefer to view the Mikoshi with my height intact, yes, yes? Your interest in Mikoshi? A Namazu after my own heart. You might not have heard, but it's shipwrights like us that built Mikoshi here at Kugane. I'd hate to leave you with a bad impression, so how about I teach you what I know by way of apology? I would be most delighted, very pleased. Just head on over to old Ofukonakura then, and I'll show you everything there's to know. And I have to walk on my own. I never imagined to receive instruction Mikoshi crafting so soon after arriving Kogane, you know? How fortunate that I was nearly murdered. Alright, so what you need to know first is that Mikoshi are meant to be carriages for the Kami. Because Kami usually reside in shrines, where we earthly folk go to pray, so they also feel right home in, in, in Mikoshi. Which means Mikoshi are basically the small shrines. You can't? And since you carry them for festival parades, they need to be portable, so we attach some poles and here we have it, the proper Mikoshi. Now, Namazu like yourself have a short reach and are all um, round like. So you need to put some thought into what you should attach to your Mikoshi to make it easy to carry. I see. This has been m quite informative, most enlightening. I'll give you this diagram as well. So go out there and build the best Mikoshi your little flippers can manage. I love diagrams. I'm most fond of design documents indeed. Let us return to Doroy Low Post Taste. I will walk this time. Not to cast any asp aspersions on the state of your back. No, no. I suppose I'll back to searching for that Gyodo now. But I'll make sure I've got the right numbers before I go about pummeling. I've meditated on how to build a Mikoshi suitable for Namazu needs. It will require some complex adjustments, some tricky alterations, but nothing my death twins cannot handle. Now I need you to make some Mikoshi pieces. They must be extravagant, most fancy. The materials you need should be in the crate by the pavilion, so just throw some together, carefully. Gyoe will collect the components, yes, yes. We will commence assembly once everything is in her capable fins. Tribe, Namazu, Mikoshi Frippery. Yeah, I have bad gear, I know. Yoshin's task gave you no trouble. He does tend toward the unreasonable, yes, yes. But said, I'm excited to see the finished product.
Yes, yes, our work is complete. A magnificent Mikoshi fit for the big one. Shining at the top is our greatest grandsire as I saw him in my vision. I have included several deeply significant and most meaningful belts to emphasize its importance. I also added Cloud's Breath to the shrine so that it will float atop the shoulders of even the roundest individuals, yes? It is time to begin the parade, but we will not start without you, no no. We will commence once you are ready, when you tell me you are prepared. You ready? According to that violent yet helpful shipwright, in some regions a participant is appointed to write to Mikoshi and represent the Kami. You would be honored if you accepted this role. Guide the bearers around the festival grounds and make sure to cheer Washoi as loudly as you can in front of the onlookers. Or just sneeze with gusto. I find the effect is quite similar, yes, yes. Let me know how it goes. Washoi! Oh, Washoi! Washoi! How exciting! I want to carry the... Uh, whatever it is right now, immediately! Washoi! Washoi! What am I doing? I do not know. I do not care. Whee! Must have a turn holding that Washoi hut. Onwards! It was an inspiring sight, most captivating. I myself felt a strong urge to join the Mikoshi Bearers, it is, but Gyoe advised I channel my passion into crafting, for the safety of all involved. It is when I remembered that the design from Kugan included plans for a float. There's no better outlet for my inspiration, no no. Which to say that I'm about to build a float right now, watch me, and do not blink. Working side by side with the Namazu, you have completed the Mikoshi and the float. The parades honoring the big one are underway. In seven years, there was fated to be a violent feud between Namazu factions over the right to use prime fishing spots along the one river. Many would have died. However, carrying the Mikoshi together in frequent parades over the course of seven years will bring the Namazu closer together, forging unbreakable bonds between clansmen. Unbeknownst to all, the Namazu will be spared the gr grievous tragedy that could have consumed them, and their fate continues to change for the better. Your reputation has increased to respected. Namazu Beast Tribe quests. Fonsei gets so be enlightened. Carving a niche. One particular custom I wish to include in our festival involves the parading of several Mikoshi. But this is not like before, no no. Each will be carried by a group of Namazu and made to crash into the other Mikoshi, as tradition dictates. In contrast to the boisterous and potentially dangerous nature of this practice, the Mikoshi themselves are intricately carved and lavishly decorated. However, we lack the proper tools. I believe we can avoid wasting coin on such instruments by fabricating our own from a Zohorn. One should provide enough raw materials for several chisels. All I ask 
is your assistance in obtaining said horn from a local Zohart. I have arranged a meeting between yourself and one such individual at the Dawn Throne. Perhaps you can offer your services in exchange for goods we seek? In steep trouble. Thank goodness you're here. I know not how, but a number of my kin appear to have been bewitched. They stand about uttering nonsense all day, eyes rolled into the back of their heads. From my readings of unbeaten tracks in Yangshia, however, I believe I have discovered a means to rouse them from this inexplicable stupor. Apparently the sudden flash and sound of firecrackers have been known to return cognitive function to those suffering of symptoms such as those I've seen in the others. Might I ask you to carry out this ritual and return them to their senses? They were last seen wandering about the Sea of Blades. Use these firecrackers, but try not to hurt them. They still have work to do. It's an unfortunate fact that whilst the collision of cultures is often an enriching affair for all concerned, a sudden encounter with, an unfamiliar, with the unfamiliar can just as easily lead to conflict. As such, we cannot assume that the Zayla will accept us with autumn arms. Now, should matters come to blows, those proud warrior people could have every one of us steamed and served in a booth, in the most disturbingly literal fashion, which would put quite a damper on efforts to refine our civilization. Thus did I bend my intellect to the task of how we might avoid such an unpleasant fate. After much deliberation, I was rewarded with a most ingenious idea. We shall exhibit our peaceful intentions to the Zayla by paying our respects to their gods. Go now, Desiree. Kyotaku will provide you with a Mikoshi that you might float with a serene purpose to the sacred sites of the Azim Steppe. A number of my kin have already begun their pilgrimage and await your arrival at the Dusk Throne. When the Zayla witness you leading the devotions of, of our people from atop the Mikoshi, they will surely recognize the harmonious significance of your presence. Yotaku. You have come for me, Koshi, yes, yes. Hop on board and honor both sailor gods with a rousing Namazu Washoi. And the Namazu <laughs> just hang in there. Washoi. Dusky goddess. We come to offer our respects. We hope our display of worship meets with your approval. Our duty is done. Your was sure it was wonderful, Desiree. Most devotional. Now we must present ourselves at the dawn phone. See you there, yes? Yes, yes. This is down, so probably in front of the dawn from not on top it. Not be alarmed, we have a Namazu from atop the towering still. We have put aside our festival preparations to come before the gods of the Azim steppe and pay a, the proper obeisance. As our friend here has demonstrated from atop the Mikoshi, a spirit that was shy is the Namazu way of showing respect. I might think you come to insult us, but if a champion of an Adam acts on your behalf, then we must accept the sincerity of your words. Thank you for accompanying these envoys. I saw only thin creatures flapping to waters and fought catfish that dragged themselves up from a Azim cart. I was close to kicking them into the water. And now we must return to our tasks. Peace be with you and with you, Desiree. We too must return to our duties. Now that you're welcome to approach again should you wish to enter... <coughs> 
honor us with another show of respect. Are you here for the Zohan? No need to explain, but little squeaking fellow told me all about it. I have been a Zohar for 20 years, as a boy and been a man. It never by tell of a horn being fashioned into tools. In a Zohar slaughter, nothing goes to waste. Every part is valuable, so I cannot simply give you what you seek. I, I propose a trait. Zohars are covered in thick coarse hair, which cannot be allowed to grow too long. The shears wear down quickly and must be replaced. Take what you need from this box and craft new blades. And you're ready to trade? Come to me. Um, so sheer component. What I need. Exactly what I was looking for. Your efforts are much appreciated. And now for me to fulfill my part of the bargain. I suppose we will be returning to Dore Low now. Please tell your friends that I will welcome similar exchanges in the future. My knees feel weak, my arms so heavy. Can't go on, no, no. Not another step. Yeah. I have a bit of fireworks. Huh? What? What? How did I get here? Strange. I suddenly feel refreshed, reinvigorated, and ready to work. Well, I better be off, he says. Everything keeps spinning round and round in endless circles. Oh. oh, oh dear. I know how it looks. Actually, I don't. But I'm sure it's not good. I promise it won't happen again. No, no. I think we're just drunk. My stomach keeps twisting and turning. It's all I can do not to heave. Huh? Ah. Thank you, thank you. I feel so much better now, he says. If you excuse me, I need to be heading back to Dory Low. Brought the hornman and was inspected immediately. Here's your horn. Yes, this appears to be an accept of an acceptable standard. Once again, I have demonstrated remarkable foresight in selecting you for this task. Now I must choose which of my minions will be transforming this horn into tools for carving the Mikoshi. You may ask why we are putting so much effort in creating such ornate Mikoshi that they're just if they are destined to be smashed to pieces. They are merely a means to an end. Through their construction we further our abilities as artisans. The hoisting, chanting and violent collusion display the women bigger of an Amazon. The others returned not long ago, full of women vigor, ready to get back to work. Those fireworks were more effective than I had hoped. 
I realized before I said they appeared bewitched, but surely you don't believe such a thing could happen, do you? What's more likely is they stole sips of a sacred tea we have served for one of our myriad celebrations. Which means we have discovered a cure for inebriation. Yet another leap toward a more civilized Namazu society. I thank you for leading our people in pursuit of harmony. Tell me, were the Zayla receptive to our overtures? Just as I suspected, your presence is essential for fostering an atmosphere of acceptance, if not outright trust. A mutual understanding gained through the exchange of cultures is truly a marvelous thing, and it's a road that we must continue to pave if we would improve our civilization. Alright, but that shall be it for this episode. For well, another rank for Zamazu. Until next time, when we play more Final Fantasy XIV, I am Mason. Don't get lost.